Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you guys are doing really wonderful. I hope you're having a marvelous Monday thus far. And so we will be looking at the Eastern Pacific and the Atlantic Basin. So over in the Eastern Pacific, there are two active tropical cyclones in your tropical storm and uh, there's also a disturbance given a high chance to develop. And then over in the Atlantic, we have two disturbances that we should be watching as we head throughout this week. Could the Caribbean potentially be impacted as well so we'll be looking at all of that as well as the rainfall forecast for today and before i go into details please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important video all right so let us go ahead and get kick started with the eastern pacific and here we are taking a look at the satellite imagery so to the left of your screen that is tropical storm greg uh, that rapidly formed before crossing over into the central pacific so the central pacific hurricane center will be given the future updates on the system since it will be crossing into that ocean basin later today there is hurricane fernanda which has rapidly strengthened into a major hurricane and then all that disorganized shower and thunderstorm activity in association with another tropical disturbance given a high chance to develop. So here we are looking at the 70 hours look from the National Hurricane Center. So this disturbance here is given a high 90% chance to develop during the next seven days and a 40% chance through the next two days. So uh, imminent development is unlikely as we saw. It's very disorganized right now, not really sticking together. However, as we head further into this week, it will be encountering conditions of conditions and thus intensification is likely and so uh, let's see what's going to be happening with it the next name to be used is Hillary and it seems as though this will become Hillary within the coming days but now let's talk about Fernanda and Greg a bit more let's go on to Fernanda so yesterday I actually stated in the evening update that I think that it would become a major hurricane a cat 3 at least but now it seems as though it wants to become a category 4 potentially with winds up to 145 miles per hour but I would not be surprised if Fernanda manages to become stronger than that maybe up to 150 and who knows maybe we'll try to become a category 5 hurricane but the good news it is not a current threat to land and the current strongest hurricane of the season is Dora so it seems as though Fernanda is giving Dora a run for her money and will now be the strongest storm of the season so let's see what's going to be happening with it but it should remain in a conducive environment for some time which should enable some additional in uh, intensification over there but as of right now maximum sustained winds are 125 miles per hour so just a couple miles per hour short of becoming a category four and it is moving westward at eight miles per hour however as we head toward the midweek conditions should start to get a bit more unfavorable and thus enable weakening and eventual dissipation of the cyclone maybe as we head into the end of this week as we move on to Greg, Greg is further to the west and so it has maximum sustained winds of 40 miles per hour recently formed this morning and it is moving westward at 13 miles per hour. So we see that as we head to the middle part of this week, it is expected to pass well to the south of the Hawaiian archipelago. So uh, it's not going to be bringing any direct impacts to the Allen chain. Now let's hop back over into the Atlantic. So as we look at the satellite imagery here, we can see that there is some shower and thunderstorm activity out there and notice just how active the northwestern side of Africa is that's where uh, that's the birthplace of our tropical waves you could say so a lot of activities on the horizon as we saw earlier two areas marked let's go back to those and talk about them for a bit so two areas are marked where we could see development and there is a possibility of a third area being marked later this week so here we are taking a look at the seven day outlook both of these areas are given a 20% chance to develop and notice that you don't see an x so that x it usually marks the low pressure areas but they have not yet formed however when they do within these areas uh later this week we could see some development but now this one looks as though it wants to stay out into the open waters but this one is looking a bit interesting so could we see something come close enough to the caribbean to bring impacts well we're going to be looking at the ensemble members now and uh we'll soon go on to what is currently happening as well as the very fall forecast for today but let's get into what the ensemble members are showing starting out with euro now this goes out to the next 10 days which is to thursday of next week the 24th of the month and here we can see a lot of support for multiple systems out there and uh actually seeing more 
support for something entering the Caribbean, a lot more support from the ensemble members here. So this is looking very interesting. Uh, the tropical wave may be propagating westward, encountering more conducive conditions as it heads closer to the Caribbean and eventually develops. And that high pressure up there is likely to weaken, allowing the systems to move on a northwestward like track. So that is why we're seeing this kind of uh, these kind of tracks there mostly and not just something headed toward the west. So very interesting uh, a couple of days ahead going to the next week or so. We also want to pay attention to the Gulf of Mexico. Some members sniffing at something there and multiple model runs were showing that we might see something try to develop. GFS was even going crazy at one point showing a Cat 5 over there. No longer expecting that. And I'm expecting that these model runs are going to continue to change. There will be a lot going on because there is so much uncertainty down the road and there will be a better picture of what will happen as we head into the next several days. Looking at the GFS ensemble members here, we can see that there's not as much support compared to Giro and uh, they're kind of keeping something out there remaining far from land, not being a threat to anyone and uh, showing some action over into parts of the Western Caribbean and over to the Eastern Pacific as well. So uh, there is still that dry air out there, but it should reduce in quantity across the main development region, thus allowing for more, uh, more moisture, which will favor the development of more of these tropical waves as they propagate off the African coast. And now let's go ahead and move on to what is currently happening across the basin. So we're starting out with parts of Northern South America and the South Caribbean as well. And we can see that there isn't a whole lot right now. Lots of cloud cover, maybe some thunderstorms popping up across some areas. But as we head to later today, there could be some uh, heavy downpours at times as a result of that daytime heat and those showers and thunderstorms developing. Look into the ABC Islands, there isn't much happening just some passing high level clouds here and there and over into trinidad there was some activity nearby earlier but that is kind of moving out but the possibility is there for some additional rainfall maybe even a heavy downpour or so across some spots as we head through today let's move further up north and here we can see that there is that upper level low still spinning in the western caribbean and that is still inducing some showers and thunderstorms across some spots especially as we look to central america for honduras and nicaragua the eastern section of those territories and look into Jamaica nothing much happening this morning but there is some shower and thunderstorm activity close to the vicinity of the Cayman Islands going on to Cuba most of Hispaniola Puerto Rico the Virgin Islands nothing much similar story as we head up into the Bahamas the Turks and Caicos Islands but there is a trough there uh, inducing some showers and thunderstorms and looking over into the Lesser Antilles now there is some activity coming in from the main development region so that could bring along with it some passing showers across some areas as we head through today so uh, that could induce some rainfall maybe bring in some cooler conditions offsetting the heat which a lot of us would appreciate because it has been very very hot speaking of guys please ensure to take the necessary precautions and stay hydrated as best as you can as you go out now we want to go on to the rainfall maps and so we're starting out with gfs now as it becomes more colorful as we see more of these shades of oranges reds that is indicative of more rainfall activity those heavy downpours and so we're seeing that across parts of central america most areas matter of fact and even some spots in northern south america colombia venezuela the guyanas and even head into trinidad and tobago there could be some substantial rainfall in some areas as i said some passing showers at times across the lesser antilles nothing crazy expected though a uh, similar story as we head to puerto rico the virgin islands abc islands but i'll uh, go into cuba hispaniola jamaica the cayman islands and even up to the Bahamas and Florida there could be some heavy rainfall in some spots at times Euro is in agreement with this showing some more rainfall across some spots such as Jamaica and speaking of I saw the comments from you guys especially those of you who live in Manchester uh, about the heavy rainfall and even some flooding that took place in some spots yesterday not very major but nonetheless that is a concern when it comes on to heavy rainfall so a lot of heavy rainfall in a short amount of time can trigger flooding and so uh, if there are flooded roadways bridges please do not attempt to cross them as that could be very very dangerous so uh, please stay safe as you head through today and we're finally arriving at the end of this update and so that is what is going on that is what is expected and of course in terms of those areas to watch I will continue to keep you guys posted on a daily basis and I will continue to 
to upload twice a day so be look uh be on the lookout for an updated video later this evening and so that is pretty much it for right now now if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments i'll respond once i get the chance to and as always remember to be with the wise